Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And last month I opened an Etsy mystery box on my channel. I originally bought that box because I watched my friends Abadabs and Tiffany Johnson open it on their channels and then thought the box looked awesome. It was my first time ever really diving into the mystery box genre, I guess you could say. But it was amazing, it was so impressive. I was so happy with what I got and I asked you guys, if you wanted me to test out the $100 box. And a lot of you guys said yes. So I'm gonna try to lift this. It's here. It's really big. It's huge. It's hard to hold up. Okay. Now, before I get into this, there's a couple things I wanna talk about. The first was, I did see a few comments of people who bought the box saying that they felt like the Etsy shop was catering towards people that she was aware had a YouTube channel. And I cannot speak for the owner. I will say though, I never really got into mystery boxes because it is sort of a gamble. You are kind of gambling with your money in that sense. Um, so that being said, that's why it really was the first time I'd ever bought a mystery box. And that was because there were people that I saw get the box and I was like, huh, I actually think that would be a cool experience and I wanna try that out. And that's why I even did this to begin with. But, you know, there are things that maybe you liked in my box that I didn't like. And maybe you had things in your box that I would have liked that you didn't like. It's it's kind of just a gamble when you get these guys. So, I don't know if it's necessarily, you know, YouTubers get better boxes. Or it's just you don't know what you're going to get kind of thing. I don't want to speak for Stephanie, the owner. I just want to say that. That's my feeling on any mystery box in general and kind of the same way with subscription services. Like, you don't, yeah, okay. Anyway, now I wanted to say this is a $100 mystery box, but with like shipping and everything, it was like $140, which is a lot of money. And let me say, if I, if I was an everyday person, I would not be buying this. Um, I thought about it and because so many of you guys had said you wanted to see it, I thought, you know, Kind of what I feel like my job is here is, you know, have an open communication with you guys where, you know, I help you guys make decisions because that's what I go to other YouTube channels for. Like, you know, oh, there's this new thing. I don't really know if I want to watch. I don't know if I want to buy it. Let me watch some other people talk about it. So I thought enough of you guys said you wanted to see this that I was like, you know what? We'll do this. However, in a different situation, I would not have purchased this. And yeah, so this does say it is 10 pounds and nine ounces. I just cannot emphasize how big this is. And another thing is like in the last box, everything was individually wrapped and some of the stuff she custom makes for you. And she like asks you about your likes and just different things about you. So yes, I think this is, I just have a feeling that this is gonna be a good box, but I don't know. Oh, also, I know people were saying like they weren't hearing back and I mean, I never really had any communication with Stephanie for this box, but I will say I purchased this box on April 29th and it got to me May 18th. So she does use two day shipping. So once the box is created and put together, she does ship it really quickly. And like I said, I'll leave the Etsy shop information down there. So let's get into my first and probably only $100 mystery box. Let's go. Okay, this thing is like, I don't know how to, there's just, it is filled to the top with individually wrapped goodies. And then just like last time, there's a little card on the top for me. Okay, it's congratulations. It says, Rachel, it was so much fun putting this box together. I hope you love your personalized super deluxe boss lady mystery box. Love Stephanie of Glitz and Goals. And that is her Etsy shop. She does sell more than just mystery boxes. She makes a lot of like little handmade curated cute little things. I literally don't know where to start. All right, let's start with this, this, okay. I don't know why I just screamed ooh like that. Okay, so this is a three-piece cosmetics bag from Liz Claiborne. 
So it's like, oh, oh, these are really nice. I like these. Should we, should we open it? Oh, and it comes with a ribbon. The cats will be thrilled. Okay, so see, like I imagine that making these kind of boxes would be very extremely fun. <laughs> okay, so here is the tiny bag. And then here is like the medium size bag. It's like a really soft velvet. And then there's the bigger bag. I really like this. These are really nice quality. And I kid you not when I say my entire house is covered with ribbons because Mario's favorite thing in the world is ribbons. And he just finds them and wraps them around everything we own. Okay. I think this is just off. Look at how well she like bubble wrapped everything in here. Okay. The next thing I see is also a bubble. It's something that is bubble wrapped. Okay. Ooh, these are really, really good to have. Okay, so we got like a little, we got a little like, um, so I think these are like lipstick holders. I'll definitely use this. Actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it can fit like up here on top of this guy. Oh, you can see everything. All right, I like this. And acrylic containers can be pricey. Ooh. What on earth? There's like a box within this box, but I'm gonna go around all the box first and get everything out that's around this box. Okay, next. Oh boy. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's like a little, little dish towel. So cute. Okay, so you have this pretty, is it a pineapple? Yeah, they're pineapples. So this cute little pineapple towel. I always run out of towels in my kitchen, so this will actually be really useful. Okay, then we got something packed really tight over here. Also bubble wrapped. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Scott and I are literally in the process of planning like our first vacation in like four years. And it's literally a bank. It says adventure fund. That is weird. How did she know? And it's so weird because Scott just this is all weird. Scott just got back from a work trip yesterday and he had like a handful of change and he's like, what am I supposed to do with all this change? That is so weird. Okay. Okay, let me try to get this box out. Okay, I need to like stand up because this is gonna require heavy lifting. There is literally a, oh my God, it's so heavy. Hold on. Okay, okay, get this out of here. There's a box in the box. It says beauty blossoms from the inside. And it's this big, really heavy box. I need to put it down. All right, let's look inside. Okay. So bubble wrap. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Okay, so this is the blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've never owned any of his eyeshadow palettes. This feels like really good quality. Wow. I mean, it's not like a new palette, so you probably might know what this one looks like, but. That's really, really, I've never seen like one of his eyeshadow palettes in person. Wow. This is, this is pretty good. Uh, I've never, I haven't tried very much from his brand. I've tried, I think I've only tried one liquid lipstick. So this is, this is a big one. <laughs> this is a big, this is a big guy. Wow. Okay. What else could possibly be in here? Okay, let's try this. I don't know what, let's try this. Another wrapped up thing we got here. This is a pretty crazy box. You can tell she puts a lot of, hello, uh, 
I just was going through all of the paper and I realized I forgot something. There's this, the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I've never tried this. How did I miss out on this? I am going to quadruple check and make sure I didn't miss anything else, but guess what? There was something else. Oh my God. Hard work and thought, even if it's like how well everything's wrapped. And okay, so this is one of the things she makes. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, my heart, I'm gonna cry. How cute is this? I love this. So it's a makeup brush holder. Hmm. I'm like emotional, this is so nice. Okay, there's a lot more. Let's keep journeying through this, holy crap. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, literally, I've been talking about how I've been enjoying trying new face sponges, and this is the Morphe sponge. I've never tried this one, and I always hear really good things about it. And it is shaped kind of similarly to the Real Techniques ones, the Real Technique one, so I'm really excited about this. Keep going. This is so crazy. Ooh! We have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is such a good primer. I definitely think the Tatcha one is overhyped, and I feel like this one is a really good one. Oh my god, there... I can't even explain to you how many things are in here. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we have a sheet mask. This is the So Beachy uh, printed face mask, and it's an aloe one. I really like aloe face masks for in the summertime. Wait, oh my god, it's like a, it's like a mermaid looking one. It looks like this. It's a mermaid sheet mask. Maybe I can use that on our adventure. What did I do next? Okay. Holy guacamole, this is... Oh, what is this? Oh my God, these are so pretty. Okay, so this little brush holder, look at these brushes. They're so pretty. And very soft, may I add. Oh, they are gorgeous. Gosh darn it. This is such a good mystery box. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this next. Ooh, this is the Morphe 3B Pure Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I have never tried a mini eyeshadow palette from Morphe before, but actually this might be like the best kind. Oh yeah, this is pretty. This is actually like really nice because it's just three simple matte shades. And sometimes I feel like I have, like the eyeshadow palette I tried today didn't have enough darker mattes. Like this would be a great addition to something like that. I didn't even know they had palettes with only three shades in it. Shows how much I know. Continuing on. Oh, we have like a little pop socket here. Oh, it's hollow. I love hollow. I've never tried this brand, but I love all hollow, so this is awesome. Okay, next, another bubble wrap. I like can't believe how much she fits in one box. It's insane. Okay. Oh, this is so freaking beautiful. This is like, this is so beautiful. Look at this glass. I don't wanna, can you see? How beautiful is this? Like, do you get why I'm like, okay with, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And there's still so many more wrapped things in here. This is crazy. All right. Oh 
Oh my God. You know how you have like your info information on YouTube? And I didn't know what to write, so I wrote, just a girl doing things. <sighs> this is so good. Like, my emotions are not ready for this box. Let's keep going. It's really the personal, the personalization that she puts together with these boxes that makes it, I think, really stand out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh gosh, we have a ColourPop liquid lipstick. This is from the I Love Sarah He collab. I saw a lot of good things about this collab, but I never actually bought anything from it. Look at how pretty this red is. Oh, I love. Colourpop so much. <laughs> I'm freaking out. This is crazy. All right, on to the next. I think we're getting down to the wire as far as things in here go. So what do we got here? This is from Benefit and this is, is this a mascara? What is this? I've never, I've never heard of this. This mascara, Bad Gal Lash. I've definitely never tried this. That's so cool. Benefit is awesome. I'm definitely excited. Considering my favorite mascara of all time is Roller Lash, I'm excited to have a Benefit mascara here. I wanna say there's three things left, I think. I think we have three things left. This is crazy. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Shut up, I almost bought one of these today. I'm so glad I didn't. This is one of the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Glosses. I literally like was clicking on it, considering buying it today. And it's literally the same one I was almost buying. This is, this is so crazy. I literally almost bought the clear one today. And this is, I think this is called Princess Cut. Yeah, I had my mouse over it, considering clicking add to cart. The universe is crazy. All right, on to the next. I, I really think we have two things left here. So I'm right, cutting them down to the left here. Oh my God, I love this so much. I love this so much. I love this so much. It's a chalkboard and it came with chalk. I literally have been wanting a chalkboard and chalk for this room and it's so pretty and it's so cute. I can't handle how cute this is. Oh my gosh. We literally have one last thing. I'm gonna move the box. Okay, here we go. One last thing here. Oh, this is perfect for my office. It's like a little dry erase board. It comes with the marker and everything. Oh my God, I can't even put into words what I have, all the thoughts inside of my head about this mystery box. I definitely feel like I got my value, not only because of like the things I got in the box. Oh God, this is so pretty. I'm telling you right now, the um, the Rachel is like hollow, is iridescent because when it goes in different lighting, it's different color. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just like the personalization, the ever, I mean, there's a Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. I... I liked this box and thank you everyone who pushed me to to buy it I have you guys to thank along with Stephanie I mean making this cannot be easy I mean I every box I'm pretty sure she makes differently I don't think any two boxes are the same uh, I genuinely like uh, her business I know that she started her business because she enjoys watching mystery box unboxings and just saw so many people getting literal crap and saw that there was somewhere in, there was room in the industry for her to actually make good boxes that people would want to buy and would actually enjoy their things. So, I mean, I love supporting the small businesses out there and I am just so, so happy with this. Wow. Yeah. That is it for this video. 
As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!